Okay. Um, so today I'm going to do a test with a stock Polaris voltage regulator connected to my stator wires over here. Okay. For the sake of uh, being able to see a little better, I put some black tape here so that I can lift this harness up a little. But basically, um, I wanted to show how the temperature on these wires are a lot lower than when I hook up the Rix voltage regulator to the same uh, to the same connection. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to start my razor and let it run for about a minute or two. While I'm doing that, I'm going to zoom in on these stator wires, which are thinner than the wires that are here, and show the end result as to how hot they got with this little mechanism here. Okay, this is like an infrared thermometer. All right. Um, I won't be able to show you the results. I mean, as we're as we're going, but I mean. Because it's a little, because I'm gonna have to zoom in on the wires, um, so that you could see that the red dot is being focused on one of these three yellow wires back here, which is connected to this harness. Okay, um, but I will zoom it back, and then you will see the end result. So I'm gonna, before I do it, I'm gonna show you where we're at in temperature, and then I'm gonna show you the after. All right, so here we go.
unless you're here touching it, it's easy to say, you know, it's easy to say it, but you'll just have to believe me. All I have is this uh, unit here to show you. Now, just so you know this is working, I'm going to point to something else. You see how it's going to get a higher temperature. See that? I'm going to go back to the wire. We are at 68 degrees. So far, I've let it run for about a minute or so. It doesn't take very long for these wires to get warm. But in this case, these aren't warm at all. They're not even... They're just cool. I'm going to zoom back so you can see how it's hooked up to my regular Polaris voltage regulator system here. I just have some black tape there, so I'll hold it up. All right, let's do it again. Hard to hold it that way. As you can see, we're at a steady 68 degrees. There it is right there, a little closer. That's terrible. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stop the machine now. And we're doing this all in real time so you can see what's going on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the Rick's voltage regulator. This was a harness system that obviously was made for me earlier or last year and it's caused me nothing but heating issues. And you guys have taken it back and I've tested it for hours, but and said it was fine. But my question is, did you test it this way or did you put it on some table? I don't know how you do it, but I can only show you how I'm doing it in, in the real world. I mean, how it's affecting my machine. So I'm going to unhook this. Okay. Pull it out of the way here. All right, now I'm going to hook up, this is the Rix voltage regulator. It's a customized 8 foot harness that was made specifically for this make and model razor. I'm going to hook up this wire first, make sure I get a nice solid connection. I'm going to hook up this wire. And there's only really one way to hook it up. You can't make a mistake on these. Okay. All right. We're going to have to put some tape back up so you can... <clears throat> okay. So now we have the Rix voltage regulator. Here's the regulator here. I'm going to set it off to the side here on this metal. Um, I'm just going to let it run for about the same amount of time. And we're going to do some, some testing there to see how hot, it, how, how hot those wires get. <clears throat> Okay, make sure I can get a uh,
Okay. I'm going to start the machine up again. See where we're at. Okay, so as you can see, the wires, when I squeeze them together with my hands, there's a burning feeling. We got it up to about 73 degrees. You saw it on, on the uh, meter here. Let's see, Actually, I'm pointing at it right now. We're about 73. That's about a five degree difference. But I have to say that that difference is causing this wire back here to just feel very hot to the touch. I think that it's even hotter when you squeeze the wires, when, you, when you're squeezing them. 
you can feel how hot it is. I, I felt that maybe it should have gotten hotter than that on this. It does definitely get hotter when you're riding. The problem is, if I continue to keep this connected to this harness, which I don't, I use the stock one for now, it will melt my plastic. It's done it before. So, anyway, this is why I'm doing this video. Thank you.